Now, from KFDX3, Texoma's Weather Authority, with Chris Boone. Welcome back, Texoma. Still hearing those showers and thunderstorms here in Wichita Falls. We'll hang on to those rain chances through the early morning hours. That'll start to break up as you get into the late morning with temperatures climbing into those upper 70s. Not a whole large, uh, a whole lot of heating up expected because we aren't going to hang on to that cloudy skies through the majority of the day. Temperatures reaching into the low 80s and upper 70s before we see our next round of showers and thunderstorms begin to work its way in towards our area. That's going to be pushing in more from the west. We've seen those storms kind of developing right along the Red River in towards southern Oklahoma and drifting south southeastward again moving in towards the Dallas Fort Worth area but still have seen some heavy flooding across the area as well as uh, see, we've seen some small hail through the early morning hours. Uh, good news is that we've started to see the hail threat really diminish with these storms as we continued into the morning hours. Again seeing those shades of blue kind of starting to weaken. Still looking at a little bit of hail in towards the storm uh, sitting right along the Red River in towards Wilbarger and Wichita County drifting south as well, uh, seeing some of the heavier showers with that. Uh, very small hail with it, and that's certainly going to be good news for the severe weather threat, but still can see some of the gusty winds, and we have seen uh, some heavy rainfall with these showers and thunderstorms, so the flooding threat likely to continue because, again, these storms have been really sitting uh, along that 287 line for the past several hours. So again, a lot of rain kind of falling into that same location. Taking a closer look at what we've seen just over the past couple of hours, the storm's really kind of weakening and pushing further towards the southeast out of the Altus and Snyder area. Uh, those areas starting to uh, dry out just a bit, but still looking at those showers persisting in towards parts of Wilbarger and Wichita County. Uh, still hearing those showers and thunderstorms here in Wichita Falls as well. And again, still drifting its way southeastward, kind of along 287's buoy, picking up some heavier showers in towards Clay County, now moving in towards northern Jack and Young County. We'll start to see those rain chances uh, pick, uh, picking up as those storms move further towards the south. As we get in towards the later parts of the morning, uh, again, most of that rain activity will push further towards south. Could still see some showers lingering in towards the northeastern parts of Texoma, but a bit of a break as you get into the early afternoon hours as far as how widespread those showers and thunderstorms storms are, uh, though as we go in towards the late afternoon evening hours, that's when we see that second round of storms kind of pushing in from the west. A little bit more widespread in nature. Uh, could see the potential for some severe thunderstorms into the evening hours as well. That could persist through the overnight, kind of carrying in towards your Wednesday morning. Still looking at those showers and thunderstorms to persist, uh, though as we get in towards Wednesday afternoon, maybe not quite as widespread uh, or severe getting and towards tomorrow. For tonight, though, looking at the potential for some severe storms, that is going to be in that enhanced category. Uh, the bullseye further towards the south as we'll start to switch uh, further south for the potential of those severe showers and thunderstorms. Uh, it's going to watch for later tonight. Temperatures into those 60s and 70s for much of the area. 78 degrees in Archer City, 74 in Vernon, Quanah, and Frederick, all sitting at 74 as we start off your morning. And then we'll warm things up a few more degrees, getting into the upper 70s and low 80s. Very humid out there. 80% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms as you continue, not just through the morning hours, but getting into the evening. We'll see those rain chances continuing as temperatures drop back down into the mid 60s. And those rain chances, well, they're going to continue going going in towards Thursday. That'll be the next uptick on some chances of severe showers and thunderstorms. Again, a slight drop in the rain chances for us on Wednesday, but that will pick back up as we go in towards Thursday. And then another drop going in towards your Friday, but temperatures for the most part hanging out into the upper 70s and low 80s for much of the week ahead.